Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. We're back here in the garage working on the Kutosh project again. Today we have a few things that I want to cover as we get ready to uh, finish up on the body work so we can get ready for priming. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, our last time here in the garage, we went ahead and finished this back end here, rebuilding that. Um, just need to touch up a little bit, need to kind of dremel a little bit of these contours a little bit wider. I can't get the tail light pieces to actually fit in properly, so we're going to just clean that up a little bit. Also, we're going to be adding the bull logo and the S logo here on the back. And then here underneath, we have this piece here that I added, this PVC piece that's mounted to the body. And that's going to be the bumped out that comes down where the license plate gets mounted. There's a little gap still here where it was cut a little short, so we're going to go ahead and fill that. Go ahead and put some resin on that, and then we're going to go ahead and take some body filler, smooth all that out, and make it all one piece. We'll sand that down and prime that. And then after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around the whole body of the vehicle, look for any dings and little nicks, and just fill those, sand them down lightly. There's not many actually on here. We're just going to kind of touch that up, getting that ready for the final sanding, which is going to happen probably the next time in the garage as we get ready to sand it and prime it for painting. Then another thing that I want to do is I want to remove all the vinyl. Uh, the previous owner had put vinyl accents all over this car, which I don't know why he did that, but now I need to get those off. And fortunately, some of those have been on there for 15 years, so the, the adhesive is really caked on. Probably going to have to take a, um, a heat gun, kind of try to loosen that up so we can peel that off. But let's go around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You'll notice all this silver accenting right here near this molding. That's all vinyl. I started to peel some of that off a while back, but and that's when I realized that I need a heat gun. It's just not coming off. So I want to try to heat all that up, peel that off in here for whatever reason where it's supposed to be black, where the door handle is to raise it. He has gold vinyl in here. You've got to get that off. There's also some vinyl accent in here in the back and also in the front following this line here. You've got to get all that off. So that way, like I said, when we come back the next time in the garage and we can light sand the whole car down and go over everything, we don't have that obstructing that process. So. Those are the things in store for today. And then also the wing needs to be raised and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. As you see it here from the side, you'll notice that the wing sits approximately an inch lower than the high point of the roof, which is not correct. I, I think on some Countaches, it was further back like that, but on the LP400S, on the older one, the wing was normally right in line with the roof or even just maybe an inch higher. So what I'm going to have to do is raise it up here at the base, build it up about an inch, which is going to push it higher and further back, putting it exactly where it needs to be. And then that pretty much will wrap that up. have a couple holes that I need to fill with resin here on the actual, the actual trunk space, and I'll show you that. As you can see here on this side of the trunk and the same as on the other side, there's holes here. The previous owner had two little um, barrel key locks there that went in. I'm getting rid of that. So we're going to fill these with resin, sand it down so it's smooth. So that's the last thing that we'll have to do. And then we'll wrap it up for this time in the garage. Okay, here's the extra piece that I put in to fill that gap. The resin is hardening that's holding that together. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put some body filler, blend that nice, go along that line right there as well, make that all look like one whole nice piece and then we'll go ahead and lightly sand it down and prime it. While I'm waiting for the resin to dry so I can continue on the back, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this S logo that goes on the back. As mentioned in a previous video, I just went ahead and made this one. I'm not gonna pay a couple hundred dollars just for that. All the other logos on the car are original, but for this one, I'm just gonna make it. So I'm using uh, just some uh, eighth inch thick aluminum that I went ahead and, and cut. This one here is the right scale. I went ahead and got these images here, so that's the right scale that goes with that. So now I'm just going to take a file, just detail it nice and smooth, clean it up nice. We'll go ahead and uh, weld the studs onto the back, and then go ahead and paint it, and um, that'll take care of the S. It's actually coming along nicely, has a nice smooth edge, cleaning up really nice. I'll get a close up of it for you. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the Dremel with a, uh, a diamond tip bit, 
and just kind of make little indentations there where the S kind of comes around on the tips, get that cleaned up, and then I think that wraps it up for this. These diamond point tips for a Dremel or rotary tool, these are excellent for dealing with metal or masonry or concrete, anything that's got a hard material to it. So that's what we're going to use to cut in the accents. Okay, here it is done. All the contours have been cut. It's been nice and smoothed out and cleaned. What I'm going to do now is just sand it down lightly, weld the studs on the back so we can paint it. And I think that wraps it up for this, uh, for this logo. There it is on top of the scaled one. Yeah, a little bit off right here as you can see, but I'm not worried about that. For the most part, there it is. Okay, done with this, just finished painting it. Studs are welded here on the back. So we're ready to go onto the back of the vehicle, drill out the holes and get the placement in order. You can see there's the one there that it was modeled after and it's pretty close, pretty close. So let's go ahead and put that on. I went ahead and just put the, uh, the bull emblem and the yes on there just to kind of get placement in order. Went ahead and drilled out the holes for them. So, uh, Get ready to remove them soon because obviously they'll be put back on permanently once it's been painted. Body filler has been added. Sealing that gap there where that piece of PVC was added. Just need to touch up a little bit right along here on each side, mending that better. And then also in here, I went ahead and filled um, some of the extra holes because when the emblems were on, I adjusted them a little bit better for the spacing, so moved some of the holes over. So once that dries, we'll sand it and prime it. Coming up on evening now, that's the reason I had the lights on. Everything has been sanded down here, patched up a couple sections like right here. This has all been blended and sanded nice and smooth. Got all that masked off, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some primer. Just go over all this area again, see if any, any flaws come through. But I don't think they will, I think we caught them all. And um, that should wrap it up for this back end. And then what's left on the schedule for this evening, I'm going to start trying to remove some of the vinyl. Then we'll call it quits. And then tomorrow we'll continue with the vinyl, raise the wing, and then patch up those resin spots on the trunk. And I think that'll wrap it up. Just wrapped up spraying it. Actually looks very good. Did notice a couple flaws. We're gonna go underneath and take a look at them there. Right there in that corner. Needs to be smoothed a little bit better. All across there, it's actually blended pretty decent. Couple spots you can see right there. That all looks good down that way. And then let's head over there. This corner here actually looks pretty decent. I'm not trying to get it too perfect because I still need to sand the entire car down with a, a finer sandpaper and at that point we'll detail all of that. But for the most part it looks pretty good. Up there it looks good as well. Then all the final holes are in place for mounting all of the emblems and, and the logo. So pretty good. All right, now we're moving on to the vinyl. Big one here is this gold vinyl that was put in here. We're going to try to get that off, start getting some of this silver off before we wrap it up for today. I have my heat gun here, so we're going to go ahead and heat that up real good and then try to see if we can get the adhesive to let go and pull it off. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. You know what, I'm going to open this door and make it easier to get in there. There we 
go. That's better. Now I can at least get the edge of it so we can start trying to peel it. Okay, well this whole side of the car has been stripped down. You can see all the vinyl that was down here is gone. Back here on the back end is gone and down towards the front. The only thing I had some issues with was getting this vinyl off of here. I tried the heat gun, which got a little bit off, but I found that a blade worked better for getting it off of here. So, we're gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, I'll be up in the morning to get the vinyl off of here, jump to the other side, take that vinyl off, and then we'll go ahead and raise the wing and then fill the two holes on the trunk with resin, and that'll wrap up our time here in the garage. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, and welcome to day two back here in the garage, just kind of cleaning up a lot of the debris from yesterday as we get ready to get started. I did try to take off some of the gold vinyl there around the handle, and that is just such an awkward place. We're gonna forget that for now. I'm probably gonna use it like a um, paint adhesive remover spray, see if that'll help. We'll do that next time we're here. So I'm just gonna finish cleaning up, then we're headed off to the other side to remove all the vinyl on that side. Well, <clears throat> I'm finding with the blades working best, it is damaging the clear coat, which I don't really care because that's all going to be sanded anyway. But you can see moving along quite nicely here. So, keep on going. All the vinyl has been removed down here. Now I'm noticing on this inside here where the intake comes in for this vent. I don't know, the previous owner put some kind of glittery vinyl or whatever. Why anybody would take a car like this, even though it is just a replica, it's still a nice looking car. And why they would tacky it up with all the stuff is beyond me. But let's go ahead and remove in here and then we'll get this out. Just finished taking all the vinyl off. The back is done, all this is done. So that pretty much wraps that up. As mentioned before, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the gold out of here. I'm gonna use some kind of adhesive uh, paint removing spray to release that. It's too awkward to get in that spot. So I'm just gonna go around the body now and make sure that there's no other, because there were some stickers up here, see if there's any other decals or vinyl anywhere that needs to be scraped off. And then we'll be moving on to the wing and then patching those holes in the uh, trunk. Okay, well, it looks like this is the last of any vinyl. This was all wrapped in a silver vinyl, which was weird. But anyway, that's been taken off. Clear coat had to be taken off with it. It was caked on so much. But as mentioned before, this is all getting sanded down anyway, so I don't really care about damaging the finish underneath as long as it's not damaging the body itself. Um, so that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and wipe the car down and then touch up a couple little dings that I noticed in addition to what I had touched up already, and then we'll move on to the truck. Just finished wiping the car down just to get all the debris and dust off of it and get a look at it. I love the uh, solid color all the way down. I don't know why the former owner put that vinyl on there. It just looks a lot better on the body. Went ahead and took this trunk off. These are the holes I want to fill here and here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and prep them, fill them with fiberglass resin, and then we'll sand it and paint it. So I'm going to go ahead and get them filled, and then we'll be back. 
all the holes have been prepped to be filled with resin. So that way all that will be left are the holes down here and there for the wing. Everything else will be solid. All the holes have been filled. The resin has dried. I'm going ahead and sanding it now. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the wing back on, get that back on the car, and that wraps up this time here in the garage working on the Kuntash project. Everything was completed on schedule, which I was getting a little nervous that it may not happen because I was running behind schedule yesterday, but making some good progress. So let me wrap this up, get everything put back together, and we'll be right back. All right, everything has been put back together. Holes have been filled, sanded. Once I do the body, I'm going to go over them. A little bit of imperfection, but we'll go ahead and clean that up when we sand the body down and touch them up as needed. The wing has been raised. I have these PVC blocks in here right now. They still need to be shaped. They're just in there as placeholders. Basically, they are one inch, so they're lifting it up as high as it needs to be, which is giving it the right perspective to the roof. So next time, I'm just going to have to go ahead and sand them to shape them and then blend them. That way it's all one piece of these wing supports. And let's see, and then really after that, it's just a matter of going over the body, touching up any little things, start sanding it, taking the doors, trunk hood off, prepping everything to be primed and painted. So moving along good. As far as patching of the fiberglass holes, if you want to see how to fill holes in fiberglass, you can do so via the link above the video that I did showing that. As far as the Kuntash project, that wraps it up for this time. So, thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative uh, for you. Please send any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate the support. So please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.